All right, welcome Trojan fans here to Bremen as we get ready to take on the Bremen Lions. 6-11 on the season for us, 2-4 and four in the conference. We got one more conference game, and that'll be tomorrow night, or Friday night, rather, as we'll travel to Argus. Now that got changed up earlier today, but we're going to take on the Bremen Lions tonight. Haven't won a game since they beat us in the Bi-County Classic. This team's been on a pretty long losing streak there. Haven't won, didn't win a game at all in their conference, in any of their conference games. 4-16 on the season. We kind of came back late in that game in the Bi-County Classic to kind of get back in that game. You turn around and see what, we kinda, what we've kind of what we been doing. We kind of – scoring has kind of been – we can kind of afraid of the basket. Listen to Jason Groves talking after the Valley game was the last game we broadcasted. He talked about these guys – this seems like the confidence level is just not where it needs to be. However, these guys are in this final push. they got two more games left before they go into the sections. It's been a kind of a rough deal, especially for the water and putting off postponing games here and there. Now we're two games back from where it was supposed two days after the game was supposed to be broadcasted, but that kind of fit into some things. But the guys still have a chance tonight. Definitely would be big if we could beat them tonight going into Knox tomorrow night as we'll face them at Argus. But the biggest thing is to kind of pay attention. We need to keep playing solid defense like we've been doing. We need to play when we need to, and we need to keep, playing, keep our energy up on the defensive side of the ball. We need to be aggressive on offense, looking for our shots. The seniors really need to step up. And role players need to come in off the bench firing on all cylinders. That can't, can't express how important that is to have these guys come in off the basket, come off the bench, fighting hard. If these guys come off the bench, that's going to give that spark for those the starters that are kind of going to give them a break and really start to really push them and see if they can get and push them further as far as the offensive side of the ball. Bo Hepler's been shooting lights out as of late from three-point line. He's beyond the arc. He's been looking for his shot. Drew Stichter in the game against Bremen hit a three. So we'll see if these guys can step up again. Ross Johnson, always a guy you can look for for points. But Quentin Thornburg coming off the bench has been doing some big things as well. Biggest thing tonight, they got to be confident in their – got to be confident in our ability and the ability to play. These guys here tonight, this ought, this ought to be a game we can come in here and win. This is a, one of those – this going in against, like I said, going against Knox, got one more game, then we'll go into sectionals. That confidence level tonight, we got to believe in ourselves. It's easier said than done. Believe in, believe, get guys need to believe in themselves, believe in the guys next to them, and believe in the coach. Because the coach, he's been there. He knows what he's doing. Jason Groves is a great coach. Been in the state finals a handful of times, so he knows what he's doing. They just need to buy into what he's doing and just kind of forget what's happened so far in the season. Now we need to just focus on here on out, forget what else has happened this season, just play basketball and really play within ourselves. Biggest thing, another thing they do, they need to win. They need to when they score. When the other team scores, it seems like we want to get we kind of lose ourselves a little bit. We need to relax, keep our composure, play loose, and just control our nerves. Because we go down, they score. That doesn't mean the game's over. We still got plenty of time. Go down, be aggressive on the offense, be patient, and really keep your eye. Really, just look for your shot. Um, we need to really control the win, control and win that turnover battle. We lost the last time these guys. We had 16 turnovers in that game to their 10. So if we win that turnover battle tonight. That'll be, make, that'll be a difference maker in this game. This team, like I said, is on a losing streak since they beat us, and they only beat us by a couple points, and that was kind of we kind of came back late. It was a little too late. If we can get ahead of them and win the quarters, it'll really make a difference in this game. And tonight, the biggest, like I said, the biggest thing, you need to want the game more than what Bremen's, what Bremen does. You know, tonight's their senior night. we got to want this and, be, and believe that we're going to go in here and win, and that's what Jason Gross said. Every time he comes into a game, anytime he thinks they're going to win, every time. If you have that mentality, be positive and be upbeat, just kind of, let, kind of let everything else take its course. So we'll get ready here underway after the national anthem. Thank you. We will first introduce tonight's visitors from Frank High School. Wearing number 12, a six foot senior, Drew Stickler. Wearing number 14, 5'5 junior, Bo Hepler. Wearing number 30, the final one of Sophomore, Quincy Thornburg. Wearing number 34, a six four Sophomore, Tyler Hepler. All right, there you have. There's the starting fives for both teams. Triton with a little bit of a different look tonight with, with uh, 
Quentin Thornburg and Tyler Heckman. They're going to go with a little bit bigger lineup. You got to kind of, it's very interesting. Tyler is definitely a guy who's a face up four, so he can definitely hit from the outside. He can hit shots. He can hit from the mid range. Uh, going to bring Dylan Hensley off of the bench tonight, looks like. As on the floor for our Trojans, like I said, we're going to have Quentin Thornburg, Drew Stichter, Tyler Heckman, Ross Johnson, and Bo Heppa rounds out the five of them. On the floor for the Lions, we're going to have Brooks Feldman, Bryce Ginter, Jacob Wonder, Ryan Caldwell, and Bryce Sterling, the senior, rounding it out for the Bremen Lions. As we're going to get, looks like the, not sure if they really agree with the basketball there. <laughs> As they're double checking the basketballs here. As they found one to their liking. And here we go. Ross Johnson's going to be tipping the ball against Brooks Feldman to get this game underway. Triton 6 and 11 the season going against Bremen 4 and 11. Lost every game since they've beaten us last back in January. Ball will be up. And Triton controls the tip as Bo Hepper gets a hold of it and hands it off to Quentin Thornburg as he'll bring it up past the timeline. Got to look for our shots tonight. That's definitely very key for us. We got to get going on offense early. They can't be waiting around. We got to come out strong. Thornburg now back on top to Johnson. He's going to work back to the middle. Stops. Hands off to Hepler. Hepler thought about the three. Changes his mind. Back on over to Stichter. Stichter's going to work left. On over to Thornburg up top. Guarded by Jacob Wonder. He's going to work right. Hands off to Hepler. I see they can penetrate this defense. Finds Ross Johnson on the outside. Ross is going to drive. Hands off to Thornburg. Quentin's going to look, try to look for Heckman. Not there. Back on top to Hepler. Hepler's going to drive. Finds Heckman down low. Loses the ball. Tries to gain possession. Goes back up to the left hand. No good. Rebound goes to Ryan Caldwell as Ginter brings it up. Ginter on back to Caldwell. Back to Ginter up top. Working over here in the corner to Sterling. He can hit some threes. He did in the game against us last time. Caldwell now. He's going to work left. Ginter now works down a little wonder. Out in the corner to Sterling for three. No good. Too strong. Rebound. Tyler Heckman. And Sterling comes in. Takes it away on the pass and goes up. And rebound goes to Bo Hepler. Got to keep her heads up. They're going to be wanting this game a little bit. They're going to want this game night. Senior night. They're going to be playing with a different type of intensity. we got to match it. Other than match it, we need to be stronger than that. Heckman's going to take a three. Short front iron, no good. And rebound goes to Ginter, and Drew Stichter comes away with it. Finds Johnson. He's going to go in the paint. Back to Stichter for three. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Tyler Heckman. Hepler for three. No good. Rebound is going to go. Jacob Wonder. Now the Bremen Lions have it. They're definitely looking to be aggressive on offense tonight. Caldwell now up top. Down low, Brooks Feldman with his first points of the night. With Heckman down low with his intensity on, on the court, we've got to look for him in that matchup against Brooks Feldman. It'll be very interesting to watch. Thornburg now. He's going to drive against Caldwell, loses Caldwell, thought about the three. Heckman's going to take a three. No good. Rebound, Jacob Wonder for the Lions. And Bremen leads it 2 nothing here in the early goings. Ginter up top, guarded by Ross Johnson. Back on over to Caldwell. He's going to drive the baseline. Ball goes between Heckman, and now Thornburg comes away with it. He's going to go on the fast break, goes up strong in the middle. No good. Rebound goes to Heckman, banks it in. Tyler Heckman with the first points for your Trojans tonight. As Bryce Ginter brings up past the timeline. On over to Caldwell. Caldwell finds Wonder. Back on over to Brooks Feldman. Sterling now finds Ginter. They're going to work the ball out here along the perimeter. Caldwell on the right wing. Up top to Feldman. Feldman's going to take a three. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Ross Johnson. Hepler now is going to push the bill here. It's Thornburg. As Hepler's going to take a corner three, just short side iron, and ball's going to go out on Bremen. That'll belong to us. Got to appreciate what these guys are doing to come out here. I like these kind of stuff what you're kind of seeing. They're coming out aggressive. These shots will eventually fall. they got, they got to force that lid off tonight. They can't just wait for it to lift itself off. They've got to force that lid off tonight. Hepler now looking for Heckman. Tyler thought about it. Dribbles out. Back to Ross Johnson on the left wing. Johnson's up top. Guarded by Wonder. He's going to try to work against him. Not there. Thornburg. 
Resets, picks up his dribble, looking to get rid of it. Got to get rid of it and finds Hepler. For reinforcement to pick it up as Hepler now has it. Bo trying to force it down to Tyler Heckman. Loses it as Dylan Hensley will see his first action of the night. Keeping on that matchup with Heckman. He played, like I said, a guy who can shoot from the outside, can shoot the mid-range. And they came out firing. Let's hope they keep this intensity up. Ginter now on the right wing, on top to Wonder. Wonder on over to Sterling. Guarded by Hepler. On up top to Caldwell. Ginter alone, thought about it. Back to Caldwell. Caldwell's going to take a three. Back iron, no good. Rebound is going to go to Triton as Thornburg comes away with it. Caldwell got away with a little bump there. Caldwell's going to try to come away with it, and he does. And Thornburg's going to get the foul too much contact there. As Bremen will inbound it. That's Quentin's first. And that's going to be our first foul of the game as Jacob Wonder will inbound for the Bremen Lions. On top, up to Ginter. Ginter's gonna work, finds Brooks Feldman over here, guarded by Dylan Hensley. Ross Johnson now. You gotta play smart defense here. You need to be talking on defense. Stay up on your toes. Can't put you back on your heel. Feldman now tries to go down low. Not good, tipped around, but oh, Bo Hepler comes away with it. He's going to work up here the right wing. On find Stichter. Stichter's alone for three. Off the mark. Sterling comes away with the rebound. Drew Stichter looking for his shot tonight. So like I said, hit one. Hit his only shot there against Bremen. As Bryce Sterling drives the baseline, goes for the short one. Smacked away by Wonder on top. Ginter's alone for three. Rattles out. Rebound Drew Stichter. Hands it to Hepler. As Jake and Jason Groves calls out the play as Triton will bring it up to the floor. Bo Hepler. It's going to work to the right wing and it's going to go off the hands of Ross Johnson. He wasn't quite there. Checking in for Bremen is Reese Willis. The young man during the JV game was definitely a catalyst for them. And their loss is where JV won tonight. On the floor for our Trojans, we've got Dylan Hensley, Ross Johnson, Max Lesser checks in, Jared Bulis, and Bo Hepler checks in for our Trojans. On down to Jacob Wonder at the foul line. Ginter in the corner. On down up to, up to the left wing. Willis now on over in the corner of Feldman. Finds Wonder. Reese Willis goes down the paint. Gets freed up, finds Brooks Feldman and Max Lesser. He's going to draw the foul. Looks like he had a hold of a little too much contact in the official's eyes. As Manga, Evan Mangus will check in. As Mangus is going to be alone for three. Just comes in and fires one back iron. Rebound goes to Ginter. He's going to go back up for two. Bryce Ginter with his first field of the night. 4-2. Lions lead it as Bo Hepler brings up past the half court line. Hepler now tries to find Slesser and throws it away. That's the kind of things we got to avoid tonight. We just got to play within ourselves, control, relax, keep our composure. If you look at the record, we're the more superior team, and we are a superior team. These guys believe in themselves and come out fire and have that confidence level. This team can do quite a bit of good things. Feldman now sets the screen as Ginter finds over to Willis. Willis down low to Feldman. Feldman's going to drive right, puts it in. Brooks Feldman. His second field goal of the night. Feldman had 13 points the last time these two teams faced off. And he's off to a hot start now with four of the team's six points. Johnson now on top to Hepler. Hepler's going to work left, stops at the top of the key. Finds Hensley. Hensley alone in the mid-range jumper too short. Ginter now is going to work it up pass. Finds Wonder on the left wing. On down into Mangus is going to roll in. Looked like Hepler position, and then Brooks Feldman's going to draw the foul, and the foul's going to be on Triton. That's going to be on Dylan Hensley. That's his first foul. Team's third, and I'll send Brooks Feldman to the line for two. 
He was three for five in his trips to the free throw line in the Bi-County Classic against the Trojans. His first shot is up, rattles out. Big thing to kind of keep an eye on. That lid has not gotten lifted off the basket over here yet, but this team's working on it. They're taking shots. Dylan Hensley's looking for a shot. Stichter took a, took a few couple threes. Bo, of course, is going to take three. He is, like I said, he's been shooting pretty well from the three-point line. Been real aggressive on the three on the perimeter. As Brooke Feldman finds the first free throw of the game, as Jared Bulis is going to bring it past the timeline. He's going to stop and loses the ball. Nearly over and back as Mingus tipped it away and Bulis lost the dribble. And Caldwell is going to check in as Ginter. Comes out of the game for his first rest of the night as Jacob Wonder will inbound for the Lions. Caldwell's going to come up closely guarded by Bo Hepp. They're going to try to force him here a little bit to play some basketball as Caldwell's going to fire a runner there. Mangus finds Willis over here on the left wing for three, puts it in. Reese Willis with his first field goes a three pointer. Like I said in the JV game, he had a few, few baskets, so he's definitely a catalyst coming off the bench for them. Hens now on the baseline in the right wing. Back on up to Bulis in the corner to Bo Hepler. Down low to Hensley. Hensley's alone. He's going to try to bank it in. Rattles in. Banks open for Dillon as he gets his first field goal. 10-4. The Lions are leading it here late in the first quarter. Mangus up top finds Caldwell. Caldwell's going to look for Feldman. Feldman in the paint. He's going to try to go up with a, with a floater. No good. Rebound goes to Ross Johnson. And they're going to call a foul. On uh, Jacob Wonder, that'll be his first personal. That's Bremen's first foul of the game. As Lucas Richmond sees some action here for the first time in a few games. Drew Stichter now comes in. Lucas has a lot of link, can definitely match up well against Feldman. Now Bo Hepler's got it. Need a basket here to build that confidence going into the second quarter. Hepler now on over to Stichter. Stichter finds Lucas Richmond. Lucas up top. Luke's going to work it on over to Bulis. On to Hepler. 15, under 15 seconds here remaining in the first quarter. Hepler's going to work left. Got to go here. Richmond up top. Bulis cutting. Finds Slusser on the corner to Stichter in the corner for three. No good. Rebound goes to Caldwell, and Feldman's going to fire at the buzzer too late. And that's going to be the end of the first corner. Bremen leads it 10 to 4. Thing to kind of keep an eye on there. Uh, Heckman and Hensley were the only two to score for us, but you look, Drew Stichter was taking shots. Bo Hepler took shots. Eventually those shots will fall. We took some really good looks, just didn't capitalize on them. Teams kind of the nerves shook off. Now they got to come alive here in the second quarter. Definitely a thing that's kind of hard for us with winning the quarter. We got to definitely win the quarter tonight. We need to see at least more. We need to try for at least a 10 to 12 point quarter to kind of give us some, give us some of that mojo, a little bit of that confidence we have going into, going into halftime. Biggest thing we could really look for here, if they can hang on and really kind of force Brooks Feldman away from the basket, if they can get him kind of working away. We can definitely get down the other end and make the most of our opportunities as we'll get the second quarter underway here as Jason Groves is letting these guys know what we're going to do here. But Bo Hepler, that's a guy who can hit from the outside. Like I said, the guys need to step up coming off the bench. The seniors need to step up. Our key players need to step up. As the officials tell them to get their warning to come onto the court. Definitely a winnable game for us tonight. We can kind of come out here tonight, like I said, winless since the Vi County Classic for the Bremen Lions. Looks like they had the injury bugs kind of plagued them here a little bit. As Justin Zumbrum hasn't been in the, who hasn't uh, just came in. So they don't, looking a little bit different look as Brian Harden checks in. Sterling on the floor for them with Mangus. Zumbrum's in and Caldwell driven the basketball on the floor for our Trojans. We got Bo Hepper, Jared Bulis, Drew Stichter, Lucas Richmond and Ross Johnson rounding out the five of the Trojans. Zumbrum at the foul line fall, shoots, and that one falls down for him. Zumbrum now, now Hepler brings up for the Trojans. Need to, need to find a way to lift that lid off here. Zumbrum's gonna come in, a lot of contact there. No call. Comes in there, a lot of, lot of contact with the arms, forcing, forcing him to the ground. Looked like he could have caught the elbow on his face there as well. And here goes Hepler, working closely, guarded by Mangus. Johnson cuts. He's going to go in, and it's going to be blocked away by Zombrum. 
but he's going to be fouled on the way up. They're going to call that on Justin Zumbrum. That's his first personal, and Ross Johnson goes line. He was 10 of 12 in that game in the Bike County Classic. Ross is the pretty decent free throw shooter. His first shot is up, finds the bottom of it. Ross Johnson, his first points of the night. Let's hope that's going to lift the lid and let the floodwaters flow for us there on the basket. Johnson shots up, puts it in. Here we go, 12-6. Mangus over here on the left wing. Finds on top to Caldwell. Caldwell's going to work. He's looking over there for Sterling. Not there. Now finds Mangus. Mangus down in Zumbrum, and they're going to call a foul. And Buell is a little too physical there. That'll be Jared's first personal. Team's fifth foul. Hensley's going to check in for us. And this is number one inbound for the Bremen Lions. Mangus up top, looking down low to Harden. Harden's going to try to go up. Nope, rebound goes to Zumbrum, and we're going to get a foul before the shot on the rebound. That's going to be on Jared Buellis. That's his second personal back-to-back -back fouls. There's Quentin Thornburg will check in. Quentin's been a kind of a catalyst. He's definitely a vocal leader on the bench, vocal leader on the court. Young player. Definitely a player to kind of keep an eye on. He can hit, and he can definitely, he's got some quick hands and a very fast player on the break. He can break away pretty easily. Harden now in the corner, on up top to Caldwell, finds Zumbrum. Zumbrum over to Sterling. Sterling's back on the top to Caldwell. Caldwell, no look pass is going to be off the mark, and that's going to be a Bremen turnover as Triton will regain possession, trailing six here early on in the second quarter. Sticker in. Inbounds it to Ross Johnson. He's going to bring it past the half-court line. They're going to reset. Ross on the screen finds Hepler. Hepler's going to take a three. Puts it in. Bo Hepler with his, with his first three-pointer of the night. 12-9. Like I said, Zumbrum's going to bank it in. Like I said, hopefully that lifted off the lid there with Ross going to the foul line. Looked like it did with... Hepler making his first field goal of the night as Johnson bring past the half court line, trailing to Bremen here in the second quarter. Ross is going to go up and it's going to draw a foul on. Looks like it's going to be on Zumbrum according to the reaction. Justin Zumbrum, that's going to be his second personal foul as Ross Johnson will go to the line for two more. Perfect on the night. He saw the free throw line quite a bit there in the Bi County Classic as he finds the bottom of the net for his for another one. Jacob Winter's going to check in for the Bremen Lions. On the fourth for Bremen, you have Harden, Caldwell, Mangus, Wonder, and Bryce Sterling. Rounds it there five. On the fourth for our Trojans, we got Bo Hepler, Quentin Thornburg, Ross Johnson, Drew Stichter, and Dylan Hensley down low for the Trojans. Johnson's second shot. Finds the bottom again. That brings us within four. Need to have a big quarter here. Need to slow down this Bremen offense. My math, need to pay attention to my math. That's why my wife works at a bank and I don't. Caldwell now is going to fire shot the elbow and he's going to draw a foul. That's going to be on Drew Stick. That's going to be the senior's first personal. as Evan Mangus is inbound for the Bremen Lions. Caldwell's going to work out left in the corner, back on left wing to Sterling. Sterling back on over to Caldwell. Caldwell's going to fire a shot in the corner. Ball's up, rebound. Big Dylan Hensley down low, comes away with it. Hepper now forces it up. Thornburg back on top to Hensley. Johnson over here on the right wing. He's going to try to drive left. Find Stickter in the corner. He's going to take a three. Off the mark. Drew just needs to keep firing, keep that confidence knowing he can do it. Hensley comes away with it, and Bo Hepler is going to bring it up for the Trojans. Drew Sticker trying to lift the lid for himself. Definitely a guy who can hit some shots. Sticker now. Caldwell comes out, some body against Sticker. As Thornburg's going to get the, try to take the screen. But Johnson dribbles away, pulls both players. Hensley's going to fire a shot from the baseline. No good. Rebound, Jacob Wonder. Good look for Hensley. Unfortunately, didn't pan out the way that we would like it to as Caldwell's going to bring it up. On over to Sterling. 
Sterling, a good three-point shooter. Definitely got to kind of keep a watch on the outside. Caldwell now is going to work that back up. Sterling with it. Harden works it on over to Wonder. On top to Caldwell. Caldwell's going to try to penetrate. Goes up. Back iron rebound, Harden. Harden's going to shoot a small, short jumper, and Bo Hepler's going to come with it. They've got numbers. Bo Hepler's going to go. And he's going to try to go up as he's going to draw a foul against Bryce Sterling. That'll be Bryce's first foul of the game. That's going to send fouls before the shot as Hepler will inbound it. Ginter and Feldman come back in, and that's going to put Mangus on the bench along with Harden. Bo Hepper now on the top. Back on over to Stichter. Stichter working against Caldwell. Finds Thornburg on the left wing. Thornburg's going to try to get some separation against Sterling, who's covering him well. Johnson now. He's going to drive. Finds Stichter. Johnson sets the screen. Gets it. He's on fire. Three. Good look. Not a good result. Rebound goes to the Bremen line, and Ginter will bring it up for him. Trailing th three here, midway through the second quarter. Caldwell's going to work right, back on top to Ginter. Ginter against the quick hands of Quentin Thornburg. Wonder now is going to work. Finds Caldwell. Caldwell's going to work left. On over to Ginter. Ginter's going to try to penetrate. Stops. Finds Sterling in the corner. Down low into Feldman. Feldman loses it for a minute. Loses it, loses it again. Looked like a double dribble. No cause as Brooks Feldman goes back up for his third basket of the night. It's a guy they got to try to slow down. Definitely been a presence down low for them. As Thorn will bring up. Finds Stichter. Stichter working down low to Hensley in the paint. He's going to go up against Feldman. Hensley's going to try to put it back up. Rebound, Stichter puts it in. Drew Stichter, the bank's open for him as he gets his first field goal tonight. 16-13, Triton trails. Team's got to be up on their toes, can't play on those heels. Feldman's going to go up with a lay-in. It's his fourth basket, eight points in the night. Nine points on the night for him as Thornburg gets the inbound. Quinton working on over to Ross Johnson. Johnson's going to work left. He's going to drive. Tries to penetrate. Ross goes up. A lot of contact there on the way up. Officials letting him play with a little bit of contact. As that will be on Jacob Wonder, his second personal. That will be the team's fifth personal. And that will send Ross Johnson, perfect on the night, to the line for two. Ross Johnson got injured in that game, got smacked across the face and had a concussion, was out for a couple games as Lucas Richmond and Max Slusser, the senior, will check in for the Trojans. Max Slusser, definitely a pretty good defender. Comes in and will guard that perimeter well as Johnson's second shot tickles the twine for another one. Six points in the night for Ross as we have, brings us within three. Once again, Caldwell now on top to Mangus, finds Ginter. Ginter finds Caldwell. He fakes. He's going to drive Lynn, go up to the left hand. Not enough. Harden tries to, comes back on the second chance, and he'll get another one. Brian Harden, that's his first field goal of the night. That young man was shooting the ball quite a, well during the JV game, so kind of look for that too. Johnson now, he's going to work. Gets a screen from Hensley. Ross Johnson with the head of steam definitely can penetrate well in the, in, in the lane. No look pass on the Thornburg. Stichter, or excuse me, Richmond. He's going to drive left. And he's going to go up strong. And they're not going to call the foul on the shell. They're going to call on the ground against Bremen. We Ryan Caldwell's first foul of the game. Team's sixth. Thornburg looking, finds Luke. Richmond's going to spin move, finds Johnson up top. Johnson guarded by Caldwell, gets the screen from Hensley. He's going to try to work right down the baseline. Finds Hensley. Hensley's going to take a three. Looked good. Good look for Dylan. Definitely like seeing these guys looking for their shots tonight. Work out the kinks. That way later on that lid is lifted off well for us. No look pass on to Harden in the baseline. He goes, looks like close to step out. He's going to throw it away. And that'll be a Bremen turnover. 
Arden threw it away. So now, with that turnover being set, with a minute 31 left here remaining in the first half, Trite needs a basket here. Not only to draw us in closer, but we've got to kind of end this half on a high note, try to see what we can do to penetrate and kind of really cut into this lead as Johnson receives the inbound from Hensley. Johnson now is going to work it up. Get their instructions from Coach. As Thornburg's going to work left. Quentin picks up his dribble. Bounce pass to Johnson. He's going to penetrate. Finds Slusser. Alone for three. Puts it in. Max Slusser for a three ball. Needed that one there. That's the thing I was talking about. Needed the basket there coming off the turnover. They get that turnover. They got to go right down again and score. Caldwell now on top to Harden. Harden over to Feldman. Back over to Mangus. Finds Ginter again on Harden. Under a minute remaining here in the first half. Caldwell on top to Feldman. Feldman going over to Mangus. Mangus to Ginter. Working the ball around here up in the perimeter, trying to kill some clock. Harden finds over to Feldman as they reset, and he's Ginter with it now against Thornburg. Almost tipped away, Caldwell. 35 seconds left. They're going to milk this clock for all it's worth now. Ginter with the basket, basketball. Over to Mangus, up top to Harden. 25 seconds now. On over to Ginter, Ginter Garden. Finds Caldwell. Under 20 seconds. Now on over to Harden. Harden on over to Mangus. Mangus back to Ginter. Really working the ball around the per perimeter here. Picks up his dribble. Now he's got to get rid of it. Seven seconds left. Feldman picks it up. Finds Harden. And Harden's going to get fouled by Thornburg with 3.2 seconds left here in the first half. Thornburg will get his second personal, and that's going to send Bryce or Brian Harden to the line for two. And after that, Drew Sticker will check in. Along with Bo Hepler. As Harden's first shot is up. Back iron, no good. Slusser and Richmond will take a seat. Lucas Richmond coming out playing. And Slusser with a big three there. The senior coming off the bench for the Trojans. As Harden will make it take his second attempt. As Bremen pulls everybody back. Goes in. Brian Harden his first three throw. Two seconds left. They got to put a shot up here. And Ross is going to try. Finds between the post at least. Didn't quite find the backboard. And that's going to be it. 21 18 at the half. So Triton kind of came alive there with 14 points in that quarter. So outscoring him in that quarter really kind of is definitely a thing to play against. Jason Groves, these guys are being aggressive. That's what he said they needed to do during his uh, interview that I listened to with, on. Uh, 107-3, and listening to, listen to him talk about his players, Jason really believes in these guys. The biggest thing is they need to believe in themselves. These guys can play basketball. They're out here, they're forced, they're looking for their shots. These are the final two games for these four seniors on our team. It's been a rough season for them, losing their home court, now they play somewhere else. Tomorrow night, senior night's gonna be at Argus and not Plymouth, and either way, that's still not home for us. However, these guys are his final games as a Trojan. They need to come out fire and do everything they can going into sectionals, because they kind of have a Long way to go in sectionals. They'll remember who I'll have to look here after here at halftime who they play in the first round of sectionals. But biggest thing to look at, they're taking shots. You guys, guys, like, like I said, guys coming off the bench need to be firing all centers. Max Slusser, a guy, Quentin Thornburg, Jared Bulis, Heckman, Richmond. These guys, when they're when they're when they're switching out like that, as deep as we can go in our bench, these guys are big. The, the, those plays those guys make are big. They just got to get in front of the basketball, definitely force turns. When they get a turnover, they need to go right down and score, which they did that with Max Lester's three. So now they're definitely going to make Bremen sweat here. They need to have a big third quarter going into the, need to have a big third quarter coming out of your halftime, basically buying to what coach is saying. That's what they got to do right now. Have confidence in the guy next to them. Have faith in coach. Have faith in themselves because they're going to will that. They're going to will that lid off the basket. All right, welcome back here, Triton Trojans fan Andy O'Hara alongside Orion Limler running the computer for us tonight. As we get ready to get the second half underway, Triton trails 21-18 here at the start of the second half. Big things to kind of look at. We're the turnover battle is about the same. We're at, we have six, they're five. So we're forcing them along with them. They're kind of throwing some air and passes. We're kind of, we're, we kind of threw some early on. But we kind of tightened up there in the second quarter. We need to tighten up here in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter, and really just kind of push ourselves, make ourselves the better team. We need to want this more. We need to believe in ourselves. And this team can play ball. Jason Groves gets the most out of his players. One thing I really appreciate being on the broadcast for, for Triton here this season was one thing to learn about Jason Groves and his philosophy and how he works with his players. Definitely a guy you can get behind him and really just build off his confidence. On the floor for the Trojans, we're going to have Drew Stichter, 
Bo Hepper, Ross Johnson, Dylan Hensley, and Quentin Thornburg on the floor. On the floor for Bremen, you'll have Ginter along with Wonder, Caldwell, Feldman, and Bryce Sterling rounds out the five for them. Triton shot 23% from the floor there, but definitely was the more aggressive team from beyond the arc with 12 attempted threes, only two of them dropped, but a lot of them were pretty good looks as Hepper will work it down the post to Johnson. Spin move. He's going to go up. Banks open for Ross. That deposits in for two. That brings us within one early on here in the second half. Now Bryce Sterling on top to Ginter. Feldman had nine points there in the opening half as Ginter thought about the threes and will work it again. Let's see if this Triton zone can force a turnover. Ginter's going to take a three. They lost him there, and he's going to put it up. Bryce Ginter gets his second field goal. That's five of the night for him. Hepler now is going to work it on over to Thornburg, on top to Stichter, on over to Ross Johnson. Johnson's going to dribble, penetrate, spin move. He's going to go up strong. They're going to call a travel. Not sure we agree with that one real well. Either way, got to shake that off. Forget what happened. Short-term memory. Here we go. Caldwell on over to Wonder. Wonder's trying to... Look to get rid of it, find Sterling. On over to Caldwell. See this Triton defense can force a turnover. Ginter's going to fight another three. And Feldman's going to save it in, and, and Hepler's going to come away with it. Hepler now is going to try to drive left. On to Thornburg, thought about the three. Fakes it, guarded by Sterling. Gives it back in the corner to Hepler. Got to work, got, got a lot of contact being played tonight. Ross Johnson now up top. The last time these two teams played, there's a lot of contact on a lot of calls. Johnson now is going to work it left. Two out of the pass almost avoided by Hensley. Got to keep calm, keep her composure, make sure we see the pass and look it in. Thornburg now. Need a basket on this trip down here. Hensley guarded by Feldman. He's not taking it in. And they're going to call a travel on him. Feet got ahead of him. Traveled. 24-20 the score here early on in the second half. Two minutes gone, and here comes Ryan Caldwell with the ball. Help. Caldwell's going to penetrate, goes up, and gets a friendly roll there amongst the trees of the Trojans as Thornburg's going to come up past the timeline. It reminds of Andrew Johnson. Now he's going to across the timeline. Guarded by Wonder up top here on the left wing. Jaross is going to drive left. Stops, backs out, finds Hensley. He's going to take a three. Good look, just short. Johnson gets the rebound, goes up strong, and is going to draw a foul against the Lions. He'll go to the line for two. Ross perfect on the night from there. And that foul is going to be on Ryan Caldwell. That's his second personal. That's going to be the team's first of the half. And Johnson going to the line, 100% from the line so far tonight. And keeps it going there. Johnson with seven free throws made on the night. He's going to reset. Rattles in, not a friendly bounce there. And Dylan Hensley's going to come with it. Banks it in. Dylan Hensley, this second field goal of the night. Banks open for him, draws him in. Twenty six, twenty three. the score. Caldwell's going to work right, stops. Finds Wonder alone in the middle, and he's going to try to go up. No good. Rebound. Quentin Thornburg tripped up by Feldman. Hot ball is bounced around, and they're going to get they're going to get a jump ball. Ball belonged to Bremen. As Justin Zumberman is going to check in for Bryce Sterling. He's going to go with a little bit more uh, height than link down low with Zumberman. Wonder will inbound for the Trojans. Forces it into Ginter. Ginter cross court on over to Feldman. Feldman works it down to Wonder. Finds them. Someone's going to reach on up over top of Hensley for another two. That's his third basket of the night. Between him and Brooks, Feldman, two pretty good long, lengthy players can definitely reach over in the post. Stichter loses him. On in the corner to Johnson. Johnson looks past to Drew. Drew is going to reset. Stichter is going to give it on over to Thornburg. He's going to reset the top. Looking for Hensley. Hensley was looking for the back door, not there. Hensley with the ball at the elbow. He's not taking himself. Spin move. Loses him, goes up strong. Good look there. 
and Caldwell's going to come away with it. Caldwell comes up past the half-court line, finds Ginter on the right. Down into Feldman. Feldman cross-court to Caldwell. Caldwell's going to fake left. Stops. Wonder in the corner for three. Rattles out. Rebound goes to Feldman. He's going to go up against Strong. He's going to draw a foul against Quentin Thornburg. That's going to be Quentin's third foul. Team's first of the half. That'll send Brooks Feldman to the line for two. First shot's in. Brooks Feldman, his second made free throw on the night. Was one for two, his first trip. Two for three on the night. On the floor for the Trojans, you've got Bulis who just checked in with, along with Richmond, Johnson, Stichter. And Heppler rounds out the five as Brooks Feldman's second shot goes in. On the floor for Bremen, you have Zumbrum, Caldwell, Wonder, Feldman, and Ginter rounding out for them. Now, Johnson's going to work left. Finds Stichter up top, guarded by Zumbrum. Drew's going to take it himself. Floater for two. Looked good. Right idea. Good look. Got to will that lid off the basket. Caldwell now on the fast break. He's going to go. Finds Wonder on the other side. He's going to go up and he's going to be fouled on his way up. Fouls me on Lucas Richmond. That's going to be his first pressure of the, of the game. Team second of the half. And Jacob Wonder's going to make his first trip to the line tonight. Shot rattles out. As Wonder resets here. And it'll go in for that one. Big thing now, they need a basket down here on the other side. They need to make the most out of their trips to work out. This third quarter, definitely something. The third quarter, definitely an Achilles heel for us this season. Hepler now works on over to Bulis. Bulis finds Lucas Richmond up top. He's going to hand over to Johnson. Johnson's going to work right on over to Hepler. Hepler's going to take a deep three. Rattles out, looked good. As Remo comes away with the rebound. Caldwell now is going to work left. Caldwell on over to Ginter now up top. Caldwell's alone on the right. Quick pass down into Feldman, puts it in. Brooks Feldman. Brooks Feldman gets the quick pass there from Caldwell, who tried that twice. Jason Groves definitely not liking the way all the contact that um, these officials are calling tonight, not agreeing with them. Definitely on play with a lot of contact, more or less not so much to draw the fouls, but a lot for the player's safety because we've seen a lot of our players hit the deck tonight. The last time these team teams played, Ross Johnson came away with a concussion, getting swatted in the face with a no call that game. As Jason Groves gets these guys fired up, biggest thing to come off the bench now, trailing 10 here late in the third, towards the later half of the third, as with trailing 10. Now, the big thing now they need to do is really fight hard, working towards that first, fourth quarter. You need to kind of go down, make the most of their offensive possessions, definitely don't turn the ball over. Drew Stichter had a good look. Bo Hepler had a good look. Definitely that little in the basket screwed on pretty tight for us tonight because we haven't got it lifted off as well as we'd like to see. They had a big second quarter with 14 points there in the second quarter. Now, I'd like to see them finish strong here in this in this quarter, definitely only five points on this quarter, and then the 12 points being put on by the Bremen Lions with Ginter hitting a big three early on, and Feldman and Zumbrum definitely manning the middle. Stroop, Sector now is going to inbound the ball, finds Hepler. Bo's going to bring it up, see what he can do against this Bremen defense. A little over three minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Hepler's going to drive by. A lot of foul. I'm going to sound a little biased here, but it's good to know the officials' whistles work when we have the basketball. As Stichter will inbound, Mangus and Willis will check in for the Bremen Lions. As Drew Stichter will inbound, Lucas Richmond, Hepler, Stichter, Euless, and Johnson on the floor for our Trojans. Lucas, he's going to travel. He's going to pass it, didn't there, kind of threw him off as Tyler Heckman's going to check in. He's going to come in, and Lucas Richmond's going to come out. Yeah. 
as Caldwell now brings it up for the Lions. Caldwell's going to work right. Finds Zumrum cutting along the baseline for two. Justin Zumrum with his fourth field goal on the night as Hepler's going to bring it up quickly. Stops, and they're going to get some body on Reese Willis. That'll be a foul on him. That's his first personal. That's the team's third of the half as Ginter will check back in for Ryan Caldwell. And Bo Hepler will inbound for our Trojans. Hepler looking for Bulis over here on the left side. He's going to work on over to back on top. He's gonna, Hepler's going to get it back. He's going to work right. Stops. Heckman. He's going to take a three from the middle. Good look. Not the result we wanted. And the ball. Right and turnover as Breen will get it back. And here comes Ginter. Works left over Reese Willis. Reese Willis definitely went there, moved his pivot foot, picked it up, lost it, and now it's a Bremen turnover as Triton will regain possession. A little over two minutes remaining here. Ross Johnson now going to be guarded by Mangus, trying to work him across the half-court line. Johnson loses it. Finds Heckman alone down there. Banks open for Tyler. Tyler Heckman with his second field goal of the night. Brings him back within 10. Bremen, on, Bremen with the ball now. Zumbrum on the left side. Works it on over to Mangus. Back on top to Ginter. Ginter trying to get rid of it. Stops, pulls up, not there. Finds Zumbrum on top. Feldman works over to Willis. Willis trying to work it back down into Feldman. And rebound's going to be picked up by Triton. Bulis comes away with it. Hepler's going to work streaking down the sideline. He's going to go up strong. Looked like a lot of con. Looked like Willis had his arm hooked around there. No call. And here comes Bremen on the fast break. Ginter saves it from going out in the corner. Works back on top to Zummer. And they're going to reset to Willis up top. Finds a Feldman trying to cut the baseline. They quickly turn that off. On over to Mangus. Back on the top to Ginter. Ginter's going to work back left. Finds Mangus on the left wing. Mangus on over to Zumbrum, back on over top to Ginter. Trying to work it over Gromp around the perimeter as Willis will take a three. Rattles out, rebound. Heckman came down. Heckman comes down with it, and a ball as Brooks Feldman kind of tipped it away, so it belonged to Triton. Tyler Heckman kind of being the catalyst off the bench. Hepler's going to find the three. He's going to get bumped by Mangus late. That was a blatant foul. Evan Mangus knocks him to the ground, and that'll send Bo Hepler to the line. 70% free throw shooter on the, se on the season. Bo will sit there, and he'll get ready for three. First one's in. Bo Hepler lifts the lid off for himself tonight. His first free throw, or excuse me, second one. He had a three earlier. Too strong there. Bo Hepler, definitely a shooter for this team. I'd like to see him come away with one here. Finds it for his second one, two to three on that trip. And that'll bring Triton within eight. Ginter finds Mangus. Mangus on top to Feldman. Side, Willis is going to work cross court to Ginter. Ginter back on over to Mangus. Feldman, they're going to try to hold here late as he finds a, a cutting. Willis is. Mangus took a step back. Rebound, Ross Johnson. Here we go. Final seconds remaining here in the third in the third quarter. Bo Hepburn out the balls, trying to lose Mangus. Buellis works on top to Heckman. Tyler hands it off to Bo. 20 seconds now. Bo's going to let it set. He'll dribble out of it. He's going to work right. Looking for Ross. Ross in the corner. Stichter comes out on the top. Gets it. Finds Bo over here. Eight seconds left. Five seconds left. Bo finds Johnson. He's on up fakes for. There he's going to go for the buzzer. Puts it in. Bakes it in for Ross Johnson. Ross Johnson banks it in there late. 
as the buzzer sounds, and that's 35-29 at the end of the third quarter. As we get ready, it looks like going to be for a pretty good fourth quarter. If we can keep pushing ourselves there as we kind of only had an eight-point quarter there to their 14 points. Look at what we can do now. We definitely had the momentum. looks like a little bit on our side. They're now finally starting to figure out. They're, calling, they're, make, they're making uh, – definitely kind of getting ahead of this Bremen team, definitely starting to make some fouls there as they finally figured out Mangus with a, kind of a tough one there against Hepler, sending him to the line for three. So every chance we get now is going to be key. This team is hungry for a win. Like I said, hasn't won a game since they faced us in the, in the Bay County Classic. Triton coming off of a loss against John Glenn last last Saturday. So definitely looking forward to what we can build to going against Knox tomorrow night. It's going to be a boom, boom trip for us. Would have had a few days, but the rain kind of hauled that off, and everybody kind of made it here to bring them by pontoon boat, I would imagine, in some of the areas as we get the fourth quarter get ready to underway. Biggest thing to keep an eye on. Triton's definitely starting to get a little more. They've been aggressive shooting the ball tonight. It's something you can't say that they haven't been aggressive. They're not looking for his shots. They're not looking to score, and they're looking to score here tonight. On the floor for Bremen, you have Willis, Sterling, Zumbrum, Caldwell, and Wonder rounds out the five for them. On the floor for our Triton Trojans, we got Jared Bulis, Bo Hepler, Tyler Heckman, and seniors Drew Stichter and Ross Johnson rounding out the five for the Trojans as they will inbound it, and Bulis will bring it up. Jared's going to come across. Looking for Stichter. Stichter now on the right. Looking over to Ross. Ross is going to go against Wonder. Picks up his dribble. On top to Stichter. Stichter's going to drive. Stops. On over to Bulis. Back on top to Bo Hepler. And to Heckman. Heckman on over to Johnson. Picks it up. He works left. And then now retreat right. On over to Bulis. Guarded by... Sterling finds Stichter. Stichter finds Hepler. Need a basket here. Hepler now is going to work right. Finds Heckman. Heckman fakes. He's going to back up and take a mid-range jumper. Too short. Rebound Ross Johnson. Banks open for Ross again as he deposits two more. 35-31 is the score here early on in the fourth quarter. And we're going to get a timeout for Bryce Sterling, the senior to get his shoe tied. Definitely a break we need. Big thing now, know that we can make the, know that we want the basketball. We'll definitely look the basketball in. Keep, keep our composure, play with some confidence. We definitely know that we can come back and do what the JV did as they came back in the fourth quarter and won their game earlier on tonight. Caldwell's going to lose the basketball, and he's going to throw it away. Johnson's going to come with it, and Willis is going to be draped all over him. And he's, Ross Johnson's going to draw the foul on him as Reese Willis is going to be draped all over him, coming across on a fast break, trying to keep Johnson from scoring. Looked like a hard foul. Stichter's going to inbound on over to Hepler. Guarded by Willis. Willis was a callus in the JV game and early on in Triton 1. As Heckman now is going to hand it off to Ross. Ross is going to try to penetrate. Finds Hepler. Hepler's going to take his shot from the three ball. No good. Back iron. Rebound. Bryce Sterling. Freeman comes away with it. Johnson tries to tip it away. Works on over to Caldwell. No look pass down low to Wonder. Guarded by Heckman. Willis is going to take a three. Rattles out. Rebound Heckman. And they're going to get Wonder for a foul over in the back. Now, big thing to kind of keep an eye on right here. This is something you can't really tell unless you're really paying attention. Bremen's definitely starting to foul Caldwell quite a bit. They're in the head. They're playing. They're, now they're starting to play angry. That's something they're going to kind of keep an eye on. They're getting nervous. We're in their head. We've got them rattled. So now we've got to build off of that and go down the offensive side of the basketball and really start to really, really, really start to capitalize on those as Hepper brings it up. Gives it Johnson. Johnson almost comes, loses it. He's going to work against Wonder. Hands off to Bulis. Bulis can hit from outside. No good. Rebound from Caldwell too strong. As Caldwell will bring it up. Gonna try to slow it down. Find Zumbrum. Zumbrum's gonna take a three. Side iron, no good. Rebound. Caldwell back low to Wonder. And Bulis is gonna take it away from the big man. Jacob Wonder, that shook him. And here comes Bo Hepler. Gonna work it on over to Ross Johnson. Johnson's gonna work left. Going against Wonder. A lot of body there. A lot of body going in there to the basket. As Caldwell's gonna bring it up. And Tyler Heckman's going to draw a charge. 
Tyler Heckman with the big charge there. And that'll be on Ryan Caldwell. So big thing to watch. Bremen's playing with the gas pedal down. However, they're playing very reckless, so that's something you need to capitalize on. With being, being trailing for here late in, here in a little over halfway left here in the fourth quarter, got to look at what that is. So you're inside these guys' heads. As Brooks Feldman comes in the game, Caldwell's going to take a seat. Biggest thing to look for, that thing right there with Heckman, use that. Use that momentum and go down and put the ball in the basket as Hepler down with the basketball is going to come past the timeline. He's going to work right. Slows it down on the perimeter. Going to work through. And Tyler's going to get a foul there. As Dylan Hensley's going to check in. Definitely a lot of contact here, and that's something kind of been kind of watching here. Definitely. Definitely something to keep an eye on is Bremen will bring it up past the timeline. Can't, can't be frustrated. Got to keep that short term memory. Forget what happened last time. Go in. Forget the bad and focus on the good and really kind of go down here and play big boy defense like we, we did against so many other teams. And Bielus is going to be a little too aggressive. He's going to come away with the foul. Good to know the whistles work. And that'll be Jared's third personal foul as Bulis draws the foul there. Wonder will inbound for Ginter. Ginter's going to work up top, guarded by Jared Bulis. Wonder now on top, hands over to Sterling, under five minutes remaining. Ginter now on over to Zumbrum. Need a big defensive stand here. Now look, they forced Feldman out on the perimeter, so they're working him away from the basket. Ginter now, he's going to work, finds Wonder up top. They're just going to work the ball around here, try to use as much clock as they can because we've got them shaking a little bit. Zumbrum thought about it. On over to Wonder. Sterling's going to cut to the basket, stops, puts it in. Bryce Sterling, the senior, gets his first points of the night. And here comes Bielis. As Jason Groves will take a timeout. Biggest thing for trying to remember here, okay, they scored a basket down there. We've been, we've been scoring. We had a big second quarter. We can score against these guys. We can hold these guys. So the biggest thing we've got to do right now is really go against them and really just go down and be believe in ourselves on that and will that basketball into the, into the basket because we definitely can do it and we proved we can do it. We just got to keep doing the best that we can down there. Now, limiting those silly turnovers, silly fouls, got to play smart. Listen to Jason Grubbs. All our guys are sub up as well as Bremen's guys are, but the biggest thing to keep an eye on Jason Groves has been in this situation, knows how to win, knows how to win games. As he's talking to his guys, Tyler Heckman's done a good job tonight, drawing a big charge. Like I said, you got the speed of Thornburg and Bo Hepler. Those guys can definitely motor around the court. Dylan Hensley definitely, with his senior leadership, is pretty good. Drew Stechter is definitely a big leader for this team. Ross Johnson, they need to believe in themselves, have faith in that guy next to them. They, they can't sit there and just second guess it. They've got to know it, and they just got to have the confidence going and do it. They can't, they can't sit there and just expect someone else to do the job for them. They've got to step up and be the big man and go in there and just play ball the way we know how to play basketball. This is definitely a winnable game for us as Hepler's now going to work here late in the fourth quarter. Four minutes remaining in the game. Now on over to Thornburg, guarded by Ginter. He's going to give it over to Hepler. Hepler closely guarded by Wonder. Now they see this Bremen zone going against our Triton offense. Hepler's going to force the three. Rattles out, too strong, and ball's going to go out. It looked like Bremen touched it last. A lot of confusion here at the officials tonight. Not sure where some of the calls are going. As Ginter works on over to Wonder, and Bremen's going to take a timeout. As we trail six here. Can't, gotta forget the officials here. The biggest thing now is just play within ourselves. Forget what those guys are doing. We can't control that part of the game. What we can control is what we do with the basketball. We can, we can definitely control what we do. We gotta watch our turnovers. We gotta make take good shots. We've taken a lot of gate. We have taken a lot of gate, good looks tonight. Looks that sometimes here at the season we've been kind of passing out of those looks. But our guys are looking for their shots. Our guys are out there. They're trying to definitely force the opposition. They're trying to go down an offense, be aggressive. We've done a good job of that so far. This team is. 
definitely the, the, this fourth quarter, 346 is a lot of time left. Biggest thing we got to do is we got to force Bremen to start turning the basketball over. We were in their heads. They are making some silly fouls. They're definitely starting to play really physical and definitely kind of style of play. One, one, one can be harmful to our players and harmful to anybody, but that's one thing to watch. They definitely, they definitely play reckless when they kind of get rattled. So biggest thing to watch with them coming off of – Coming out of this timeout is, can we force that turnover? Can we force the, can we force them to make some silly turnovers here and get ourselves back in the basketball game? As on the floor for our Trojans, you'll have Dylan Hensley, Quentin Thornburg, Bo Hepler, and Ross Johnson, or Ross Johnson, Andrew Stichter on the floor for our Trojans as Ginter St- Caldwell, or excuse me, Ginter Sterling, Wonder Zumbrum, and Feldman's on the court for the Bremen Lions as Wonder inbound. On over to Ginter. Ginter's going to bounce pass over to Sterling. They're going to bounce it back. Let's see if Trine's going to press the ball a little bit here. Try to force him here, this little bit of this. Try, try to force him. And Ginter's going to walk with it. That's a Bremen turnover. So now, with forcing that turnover, we need to go down and capitalize on those, on that turnover. Use that momentum. Use that upbeatness. That, use that, the upbeat tempo we're going to get from that and go down and put the ball in the basket. We've proven we can do it. Now we need to go out here and just play the game and will that ball in the basket. Thornburg now. Down low to Johnson. He's going to bank it in. Got some contact. Look at a shove off by Bremen as Ross Johnson, his fourth field goal of the night, brings it in as that post pulls within four here late in the fourth quarter. Cross court to Sterling. Back on the Zumbrum. Down low, knocked away by Stichter. And the ball's going to go out on Bremen, looks like, from here. Okay. He couldn't see it. He was in front of me, but he couldn't see it. Okay, I guess that's what we're going to call. Looked like the ball went out on Bremen. Looks like Brooks fell off his toes. We're going to call a jump ball. Official lost the play there as Feldman's going to now. That's, that's a jump ball, not call. They're going to call a foul. They're going to call that on Quentin Thornburg. Not sure I agree with that one. Caldwell now is going to go to the baseline. He's going to find over to Wonder up top to Ginter. Ginter's going to work quickly on over to Zumbrun. On over here to Feldman. Feldman's going to work it back to Zumbrun to Ginter, guarded by Thornburg. Wonder now is going to work down low to Feldman. He's going to go up strong. There we go, and that's what a foul. That's a foul on Dylan Hensley. It's good to know it works. At least the whistles work. And that's going to send Brooks Feldman to the line for two. Bo gets his instructions from coach. Feldman's first shot's in. Not sure. A lot of contact being played with tonight. As Feldman's second shot is up, and it rattles out. Rebound Ross Johnson draped over by Sterling. You looked like, or Zimmer looked like he reached in and no call. And Bo Hepler will bring it back up. As Hepler now is going to work right, hands it over to Ross Johnson. Johnson's now is going to work back. On over to Hensley. Dylan works on out to Hepler. Sets a screen. Hepler's going to take a three. No good back on rebound Zumbum. Good look, right idea. Got to keep going. Feldman now on over to get on over to Caldwell. No look passes Zumbrum. He's gonna bank it in. Oh, for not a friendly roll. Feldman's gonna pick it back up and put it in. Gotta kind of force it now. We got we can't we wasting time. We gotta go down and be aggressive. A lot of contact there, not called. Johnson now finds Hensley in the corner. He's gonna take a three. Puts it in. Dylan Hensley with a big three ball there. That brings us in within four. That's Dylan Hensley's seventh point of the night. Big three there. So now, use that. Go down the other side and put it in. We can't. We we got to forget what what calls we're not getting. What calls they're getting. We got to forget all that stuff right there. That's the biggest thing to do right now. Is focus on ourselves. Focus on our ability. Believe in the guys that are on the court with us. Listen to coach. Tune everything else out. Play our style of basketball. Practice well because, like Jason said, this team has been practicing well, doing a great job. 
during practice. These guys are definitely, it's a good group of kids, definitely a hardworking group of kids. And these guys tonight, the hard work's got to pay off for them. Trailing four late in the fourth as they have, as Bremen has the basketball, Bulis, Stichter, Hepler, Heckeman, and Ross Johnson rounding out the five for them. On the, on the floor for Bremen, you have Wonder, Ginter, Caldwell, Zumbrum, and Feldman. Definitely a lineup tonight that we kind of struggled against, especially with Zumbrum and Feldman. Caldwell's going to find Ginter as Stichter almost tries to take away, and Wonder's going to go up. Rebound, Tyler Heckeman. Here comes Bo Hepler now. Past the timeline. Finds Johnson. Need a basket here. Ross Johnson slows it down. Going to work left. Going to try to pull Wonder with him. Wonder get, get, loses him on the screen. Caldwell. Drew Stichter for three. Rebound's going to be Jared Bielis. Now capitalizing the second chance point. Looked like a reach. And Bremen's going to get a timeout. Drew Stichter with a good look there. Definitely made me look, made me a loss of words there. As Bremen's going to take a 30-second timeout, leading four here in the fourth quarter. Now, like I said, continue to do what Jason Groves is. These guys are bleeding themselves. The second chance points. Tyler Heckman with a big defensive board there. Then Jared Beals comes with a big offensive board. So now we're working well. We need to will that basket on. We're getting good looks. We just need the ball to go in, obviously, obviously enough. But biggest thing is these guys are playing aggressive. They're believing in themselves. They're playing on their toes. They're not playing on their heels. And they definitely can, they've definitely gotten ahead of some of these Bremen players. You kind of look how they're kind of playing. They're definitely playing reckless and definitely playing, throwing their bodies around quite a bit, using a lot of contact in, uh, against our Triton players. As lineups are going to stay unchanged for both teams. And Wonder will inbound as Triton's going to put the press on. Use that big boy defense and force another one here. Wonder now. Tipped away by Bo Hepler, and that's going to be a foul. Sorry. And that's going to be a foul as Jacob Wonder runs him over. Looks like a Mack truck. Runs him right over. Going to shove him to the floor. I got excited to jump there. Sorry, it's his fourth personal foul. I got excited. Sorry, Orion. <laughs> no problem. As Bo Hepler will go to the line two for three on the night as I almost took the table and made it fly on the, fly on the floor. My bad. Got a little excited. <laughs> Got to remember I'm broadcasting and not trying to be a fan over here. So Hepper now is going to first shots up, goes in. Never a good thing when the uh, broadcaster's jumping in his seat. Definitely on the on the edge of my seat over here as Max Slusser checks in for the Trojans. <laughs> Bo Hepper's going to reset for his second shot as they are in the one and one bonus. Shot is up. Puts it in. Bo Hepler now draws him in with his fourth free throw of the night. Brings him in two. A little over a minute remaining. Caldwell's going to work it up quickly. Zumbrum's going to be alone, and he's going to go up, and, and he's going to get the end one opportunity on the late foul by Drew Stichter. And, that, and then I'll send to Zumbrum, who got some separation and got himself open into the lane. Banks it in, puts him up by four. As he'll go to the line. Zumbrum hasn't been to the line yet tonight. As Hensley's going to check in, and Thornburg will check in for the Trojans. Going to go with a little bit of speed on the court here. One thing to watch, Bo Hepler's got his quick hands. You've got to watch the quick hands of Thornburg, and Dylan Hensley's going to muscle it in as Zumbrum's first free throw of the night goes in. Here we go. Got to, got to, got to push it here. Trailing five. Minute remaining here in the game. Ross Johnson's going to work. Hands it off over to Thornburg. Johnson now. Johnson's going to work. Finds Thornburg. Thornburg thought about the three. Finds Hensley. Hensley can hit a three. Puts it in! <laughs> Dylan Hensley for three. Bangs it home. And that pulls us within two. Got to love the enthusiasm these guys coming off the court. Bremen walks off. Not as ecstatic as that big three by Dylan Hensley. He's been shooting all night. Eventually, they were going to drop, and he does it there. As Hensley hits the three there. So, so yeah, he's two for four from three-point line, and that one, that one goes in there for him. So 
like I said, big thing to watch. These guys are starting to buy in themselves. They're starting to have confidence. And Vince, that lid's going to come off, and now it's picking the right time to come off. As we trail to, as Bremen's got the basketball with 47 seconds left here in the game, Triton with the definitely the big shot there. So, like I said, keep watching these guys. They're playing with confidence. They're believing in what coaches is telling them they're buying into their offensive philosophy. They're buying into each other. That's the biggest thing on there. These five guys on the court got to believe in one another, trust one another, and go out and just be one whole unit and go against that Bremen team. Who, like I said, is playing reckless. They're definitely rather. They look gassed over here on the right side. As on the floor for us, we got Lucas Richmond just checked in for us. As Zumbrum comes in. He's going to throw a cross, cross court. Caldwell now gets it. And he's going to give a rebound. He goes back up. A lot of, I'm not going to complain there. Sunburn's going to find the corner. Willis backing over to Caldwell. Caldwell's going to look, and Bremen's going to get a timeout. <laughs> well. So Bremen will take a timeout there. It'll be a full timeout. Kenzie's going to check back in. So big thing to watch there. We kind of came down that cross-court pass, a dangerous pass. Falls Bremen's way as he is. Caldwell goes up, gets his own rebound, goes back up again and finds that deep, dense uh, defense there by the Trojans, and they start to hold him there. Big thing to keep an eye on now. Under 33 seconds left. Got to watch how we play. Trailing two. Biggest thing we can do is really watch, be smart either who we foul because uh, Bremen's a fairly decent free throw shooting team as they're going to use this full time out their advantage. Big thing that the guys got to do. Jason Groves knows what he's doing. 13 years doing this. The guy's good for a reason and he's got to bind to what he said. And like I was telling the guys earlier at halftime when we were off the air when his and his interview after Tippy Valley almost made me want to suit up and go out and play. Um, like I said, Jason's this guy you can get behind really kind of believing in what he kind of brings to the scene. He gets the best of his players. And that's one thing to watch. Just because just because maybe we're not the most talented on the floor, these guys believe in him. These guys are workers. That's the biggest thing to look at. The workers, the character of these guys is what's going to will them, is what's going to, we're going to find out what we have here in the final 33 seconds. On the floor for us is Hensley, Thornburg, Euless, Hepler, and Ross Johnson. On the floor for Bremen, Zumbrum, Caldwell, Feldman, Ginter, and Willis running out there five as Zumbrum will inbound. Willis frees himself up in the paint, comes away with it, and Triton's going to foul quick. It's going to be on Bo Hepler. That's going to be Bo's first foul of the game. And that's going to send Willis to the line for the one and one bonus. Willis is a pretty good free throw shooter. Did well earlier on in the game, again, the JV game. Young player, only a sophomore. Shot is up. Too strong. Rebound Dylan Hensley. Now. Keep our composure, go down here, and definitely make do what we can to put this one away. Ross is going to get freed up in the baseline. He's going to try to go up. Finds Thornburg. Thornburg for three. Looked good. Rebound. going to go to. He stepped on the line. And it's going to go out. Belong to try and 15 seconds left. Brooks Feldman comes down, put his foot on the line, turns it over, and Triton keeps a hold of it. Jacob Wonder is going to check back in. I gotta be real careful about standing up. I almost took the table over again. Johnson's gonna try to tip it in. No good. Rebound to Felbin as he comes to the rebound. He'll go to the line for one and one chance. Trailing two, 12 seconds left. Good look by Johnson. Just didn't get the from the bounce that we needed. That'll be on Bo's second foul. And that's gonna send Brooks Feldman to the line for a one and one chance. Definitely been a high drama game here late. Like I said, at halftime, felt like we are going to be in for a good one. And so far, I haven't been disappointed there. Felvin's shot's too strong. Rebound, Triton. Ten seconds left. Trailing two in the fourth quarter. Johnson now going to work right. Finds Thornburg. Thornburg's going to go. Finds Johnson. Four seconds left. And Jason hey, Groves will get a timeout. Jason Groves is going to get a timeout here with three and a half seconds left here in the game with the inbound. Ball's going to be inbound on the far side. Jason gets a timeout. Thornburg looked like he had a good look. And they called a and they called a timeout remaining. I thought for looked like they called a foul and they just uh, 
instead instead of called a timeout instead. It looked like there was a, one of the officials called a time called a foul. The other one's called a timeout, so a little confusion there with those guys. As Jason goes gets gets the timeout here. Big thing we need to do. All we need is a basket. Not this game up. Taking it into overtime would be huge. And I think with the momentum and how we're playing, definitely I think you kind of keep an eye on it. If they can come and build that momentum and they can force overtime would be big for Triton right now because they definitely have a hot hand here in the fourth quarter. Three and a half seconds. Both teams getting all the instructions they're going to need before they walk back out. Triton trying to use that redemption as they did against Culver in the Bay County Class. They lost them a week before and beat them in the redemption game there. Well, this is their redemption game now. Three and a half seconds left. Got to make the most of what we have here as Dylan Hensley's, or Bo Hepler's going to inbound. Got Drew Stichter, Hensley, Ross Johnson, and Jared Bulis on the floor for Triton. And Bremen's going to take a timeout. They were going to see what Triton is going to put on the court, how they're going to set up. As we'll get the timeout here. So three and a half seconds, biggest thing to do. Forget, forget what's happened all game. Forget what's happened there. Pretend you're just out there shooting the ball, shooting around. You're at practice. Just put the ball in the basket. These guys have been capable of doing that. They've worked themselves back in this game. They've worked too hard to let this one go, and they've got to be proud of our character and the way our guys have played tonight, played within themselves, kept their heads level, and done a pretty good job playing in my book. And these guys all game have definitely worked. They're definitely a hardworking group of young men. Very proud of our Trojans there. As on the floor for... Green brings out their final lap with Caldwell, Ginter, Feldman, Wonder, and Zumbrum on the floor for Triton. You've got Bulis, Hepler, Stichter, Hensley, and Ross Johnson on the floor for Triton. Going to work around here. Hepler's going to work around. Finds Stichter. Stichter on top to Hensley. Hensley's going to shoot to the buzzer. Oh, no good. Side iron. That was a beautiful look. Dylan Hensley didn't go in. That's going to be the final score, 43-41. It came down to the final one. Heartbreaking loss here at Bremen for the Trojans. We'll have stats here in just a few minutes. As Bremen pulls away, Triton fought to the very end. They stayed on their toes, kept playing good. You got to be, as Coach Jason goes, yeah, you know, we didn't get the win, but these guys fought hard tonight. They had played with confidence. They played hard. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing to watch is these guys played hard. They did their absolute best. Very proud of how this team competed tonight. Definitely with a lot of contact. A lot of calls didn't go our way, but yet we still played hard and it went to the end of the game. And that's not very often do I get jumping out of my seat, especially broadcasting. Then they had me jumping tonight. So definitely now starting to buy into Triton and really enjoy watching these guys as soon as Wes hands me the stats from over there. We'll read them off here as I get that. And we'll get through here the stats. So first we'll go with the Bremen Lions. As leading the way for them was Brooks Feldman with 16 points. Justin Zummerman added 11. Two guys there in double figures. Those both guys were in double figures at the Bi County Classic. Also leading the way for them, they had Bryce Gunter with five. Caldwell had two. Bryce Sterling had two. And then Brian Harden had three. And Reese Willis added three with his lone three-pointer of the night as they went 43-41. But all for our Trojans. Big thing to look there. We won the turnover battle. So, I mean, that's one thing I said earlier. They had to win the turnover battle. They did. They only had 10 turnovers on the night. Definitely did a better job hanging on the basketball tonight. So, the big thing to really to watch is, so, on, leading the way for us is we had Ross Johnson with 15 points. Luke, Dylan Hensley added 10 with two big three balls there, and I could have swore that third one was going to go in, or that last one was going to go in. Tyler Heckman with four points. Bo Helper added seven. Drew Stichter with two. And rounding it out, Max Lester, who had a big three early on in the game, rounds it out for us. So you kind of look at how we did. We did 28% from the floor, 37%, but 45 attempts on the night. That was kind of the same. For us tonight, we really started forcing ourselves to shoot the basketball. We did a lot better job of shooting the basketball. Very proud of this team. Jason Groves has got to be proud of how his guys competed. Yeah, it didn't come out our way. We didn't get quite the calls we wanted. We didn't get everything that we needed tonight. But, however, they worked hard. And, then, and that to me is a step forward, watching these guys and really just learning with this group of young men and really kind of growing with this team as I started broadcasting halfway through the season. This team has definitely took a step forward there. They step with that kind of intensity going against Knox tomorrow night at Argus, and then they're going to take on South Central in the first game of South Central Union Mills in the first game of sectionals. They keep fighting like this. They keep believing in themselves. They get on their toes. This team can be dangerous in that sectional. They can definitely take it against them. They can definitely do some things and kind of really force themselves and really continue to play 
good team basketball, and this team really believed in themselves, and that's something to really watch that these guys are building on. Very proud about how these guys competed, as tomorrow night will be in Argus, which this game concludes as Bremen wins 43-41. Andy O'Hare at the broadcast with Ryan Lindler running the camera for us. And tomorrow night we're going to be going to Argus as the with the floodwaters forcing us there. Not going to be able to play at Plymouth. But tonight, like I said, the guys believed in themselves. They did everything to a tee. They played well. Unfortunately, those shots we were taking, those shots would have came in, this would be a completely different ball game. I think we would be definitely on that winning side of the game. These guys came out just firing. That's what they got to take into tomorrow night against Knox, a team who took Laville, undefeated Laville to the buzzer. Definitely a very good team in Knox. They've played well with a winning record, second with the second best record, second best record in the Hoosier North Athletic Conference. That there is something we got to work towards. We're going to be definitely going to be very. It's going to go against a big matchup tomorrow night. Got to play hard. These guys can do it. Very proud of how these guys competed. JV won earlier tonight, 42 to 40. So it came down to the wire for them as well. So similar scores, but one thing to kind of look is there's a lot of young players on that Bremen team. There's going to be a lot of seniors next year, but. This is going to be a, definitely a matchup to watch next year between these two teams. Definitely with looked like a lot of contact by Bremen. Definitely let them play with a lot of contact tonight. But unfortunately, that didn't go our way. But for us tonight, a win for us is we played well. We played with heart. We played like we played ball like men tonight. We stood tall tonight in my in my mind. So with that being said, that's going to call it the end of the ball game tonight. As Andrew Hara alongside Orion Lindler as Triton falls to Bremen 43-41. We'll see you on our next broadcast as we will be hosting Knox and Argus at Argus. At, at Argus. So definitely a new thing for me. It'll be nice next year once we get that floor finished up where we can be at home. Yeah. But big thing to remember is tomorrow night that will be our final regular season game, and then we'll be at the sectionals after that. So that, is, that being said, have a good night. We'll see you on our next broadcast.